Welcome back everyone. I am so excited today because I received my new lens. It's a wide angle lens that you guys are actually seeing my entire lab environment right now. I have my workstation over there and I have a, another workstation and another workstation and another workstation and it, does, it just keeps on going on. Why do I have so much? Well, let me explain a little bit about my history. I am fascinated with monitors because you can't see what I'm looking at on the front side of me. You can see everything behind me. I have a huge I think this is a 49 inch curved monitor, uh, but I can share that, you know, details later on. But I'm not here about talking about monitors, but I am here about setups and why you need some. Being in this industry, being in cybersecurity, you need a lab. You need a lot of labs. You need a lot of equipment, not a ton of equipment. I'm not telling you to go out and spend thousands of dollars on GPUs, although I have them. That's not my point. My point is, it's great to have some technical knowledge. And I've sat through conversations with hiring managers where they love that you're all technical and they are technical themselves. Some of them, not all of them. You start to have a conversation about certain things like, oh, the latest GPUs, the 4090s, and what you do with it and what games do you play? Like that's the generation that we're in right now. Creating small talk while you're sitting in an interview before the actual interview actually starts. I've done it many times. I'll join a meeting early. Someone jumps on, especially if there's a panel. Kind of just break the ice. You don't have to just sit there in silence until everyone joins. Just casually say hey so you know wh what is it that you enjoy doing about cybersecurity or somewhere along the lines of that right i always whenever i'm sitting in my environment when people see the stuff that they see on the other side of the camera i they always initiate like oh i see you're into a lot of things over there like what is going on you know i got my exagrid i got my gpus i used to actually have eight gpus running and a whole bunch of led lights just flashing and like blinding you as you're watching me on this video my point is you can break ice with small talk where you can actually do that and i've seen other people do it because as i'm sitting on the other side as the hiring manager i see people like oh i have you know this uh pc and and they're they're sporting like you know like logos of offsec or splunk or whatever it is like anything to start a conversation and that's what you really want to do because it shows that you're passionate about what you're trying to get into and what you're doing not because it's just the current trend not, that's definitely not what you want to do, right? You don't want to come off as, oh, I'm just book smart. I just studied and I, I passed the exam and now I'm just trying to land a job. I really have no ambition to buy any equipment, have any technical experience. It's really, really key. This whole existence of cybersecurity, in my opinion, now you may get different opinions from other people. My opinion is you have to have foundation and the foundations all started off from networking, you know, personal computers. It went from no internet to quick internet, extreme fast internet, and everything is vulnerable. Everything is public. Everything is exposed to anyone and everyone that you don't want seeing your information. And it's all out there right now. It may seem like I'm like jumping all around, but my point is have a lab environment, right? If you kind of display that if, if you can while you're sitting through, if, if you get to a point where someone is interested in you and they want to go over uh, land that first interview, you, you know, just have it available, right? You can easily even do this, right? Let's just say, uh, just to make it like, uh, like the room to be more attractive. Like, let's just say I do this. Now I have a, a Ryzen 9 box behind me and I just have like, you know, an endless supply of hardware, uh, which I really do, honestly. And that's how I'm learning, guys. I, you know, I have an alpha card, uh, alpha USB wireless that I do wireless hacking on. I, I you know, I play around. I'm, I won't say like I'm proficient in it, but I, I know enough to get by and I have multiples of them and I just have a whole bunch of stuff. That's how you keep up with the current trends, the current tools in the industry, right? And just cybersecurity in general, whether it's pen testing or blue teaming, you, you can do research on companies, uh, vendors, uh, CrowdStrike, you can do Splunk. Like there's so many things that are out there. And my most recent video, I spoke about AWS, right? All free training. Uh, so is uh, Azure and Google. That There's all information that's out there publicly that you don't have to pay more money to do, but it also doesn't hurt to have some equipment. Now, you do not have to go out and get the latest and greatest. What you can do is probably go and see if you can find donations from friends and family to have, you know, older systems that you can just spin up like a, a virtual machine or load up Linux on it, learn Linux on that, and so on and so forth. There's so many things you can do. You can even go into your, if you have a micro center near you, you don't have to buy new, buy used, right? You could build a machine for like 400 bucks. Now I know it's expensive, money is tight, and you don't have, probably don't have too much room to put everything where you want it to put, especially a new machine, then you gotta get another monitor. Try to look for the sweet deals, meaning go on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, build these labs, because that's the one way that I feel like it's the most important thing important aspect is to have the foundation of technical knowledge playing around with labs 
and you can destroy it, kill it, it will be on his last leg, and then all you have to do is re-image it. It doesn't affect the machine that you're working out of, like your work machine or whatever it is, right? Uh, especially if it's for school or, you know, important documents, you need that. So I just want to put that out there right now. And the main reason why I put this video out is because I'm, I'm so like intrigued. I'm just looking at my OBS at the widescreen. Look at this, the widescreen. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for being here and uh, hopefully you enjoy this content. Please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.